dares disturb my evil plotting? Hmm? Ah, yes, Chancellor. Excellent. I was expecting you. Please, enter my lair. <laughs> hmm. Now, I want to discuss something with you. Remember last week, when you brought me that tax reform bill, and I said it wasn't evil enough? Yes, well, I got your new version earlier today. You just went through here and added the word evil in front of every noun and evilly in front of every verb. You realize that's not what I meant by making it eviler, right? The evil farmers must evilly pay one evil silver coin to evilly sell their evil produce at the evil market on evil Thursday. And you went through and just added those words between the lines with that V symbol. I hate that. I swear to the evil gods, I will zap you into a snail if you try something like this again. Understood? Wait, no. Snails aren't very evil. What's an evil animal? Oh, I know. I'll zap you into a crow. Yes, yes. Beg, beg for your very life, Chancellor. Oh, makes me feel so evil. <laughs> hmm. Now, I'm going to sign this just because I can tell you're trying. Just know that I expect better from now on. Now, this other legislation... You're proposing abolishing the caste system and allowing the peasants to elect their own governors. Explain how this is evil. Ah, I see. Ah, oh, all those arrogant noblemen finding out they're no better than simple peasants <laughs> and being forced to give up their castles to whatever unwashed yokel the rabble elects to take their place <laughs> maybe there is hope for you after all <laughs> what's this what's 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 this what's this a petition from the village of happy hill a drought you say they want me to provide them with some water. <clears throat> They've been asking for this for weeks. I find that they're trying my patience. I should punish them somehow. Hmm. Oh, you have an idea? Well, what is it? Yes, they are having a festival soon, aren't they? And you say I should cast a spell to make it rain on the festival. <gasps> That's brilliant. Imagine those goody-goodies dancing around all happily, only to have to go and hide inside from the most rain they've had in years. <laughs> oh, that's what they get for asking me to solve their... Uh, their... Oh, what was it I forget again? Oh, never mind. You know, Chancellor, I think you're getting the hang of this. You really seem to get me, you know, not like my orcs. Just between you and me. They don't really have their hearts in the whole evil thing, you know? I mean, look out at the courtyard there. You see that old lady? She's a country bumpkin that just got separated from her family and needed directions. And instead of, you know, eating her like they're supposed to, they're watching her until they can find her daughter. See, look at that. They just laughed at one of her old lady jokes. Hey, Commander Taldock, the cruel. You're absolutely terrible at this. Your orcs are just a bunch of no-good softies. 
no, I won't let you change your name to Toldark the Reasonable. Next time you see a lost old lady, I want you to eat them. You got it? No, I don't care how bad they taste. Ugh. You see? You'd think a big scary-looking guy would be better at this. Do you know they write poems? Who ever heard of a warrior poet? What do you mean that's a thing? Ugh, whatever. Okay, so you had some questions about the budget. Very well. Yes, I have ordered two fortresses built at the opposite ends of the kingdom. What of it? Oh no, they're not defensive. You see, there are these two peasants in a village a few days to the west. I saw them in my magic mirror. They're so in love. It's sickening. They're one of those annoying happy couples, like, Oh, sweetie pumpkin, let's go make dinner together and watch the sunset. Blech. So, I'm building two fortresses to keep them apart from each other. Forever. We don't have the budget for that. Well, fine. We can keep them in the same fortress, then. Build it up by the border with the sand elves. I don't trust those guys. Okay, I know you didn't just ask about the eyeshadow budget. I have an image to uphold. And if it takes an excessive amount of purple eyeshadow, then that's what it's going to take. Of course, if it's really such a drain on the budget, I do know a spell to turn insolent viziers into makeup palettes. Yes, that's what I thought. Now then, what's this about reports of monsters in the Valley of Misery? Oh, don't worry about that. I know what caused this. See, a few weeks ago, I saw a woman in the magic mirror who was... I know you won't be able to believe this, but stay with me here. Maybe. Ever so slightly itsy-bitsy bit prettier than me. In certain lighting. So I did what any reasonable queen would do. I went down there and I used my magic to transform her into a hideous beast. But she was out with a bunch of friends, and I realized some of them were also really pretty, and I decided to get them too, just to be safe, you know? And then I could tell all of her friends felt kind of sad, because I didn't seem to think they were pretty. And, like, I'm evil, not mean, you know? So I zapped them too. So now there's, like, 30 hideous beasts wandering around here. You think that was excessive? You dare question me. I'll show you. I'll hit you with the very same spell. Habeas corpus. <laughs> yes. How do you feel now, Chancellor? Knowing that you will be spending the rest of your life as a hideous, disgusting, Disgusting beast. No, you won't change any more. That was the whole spell. Are you saying that giving someone cat ears doesn't make them hideous? Uh, I wondered why they didn't seem very worked up. Oh, my pie is ready. Why am I baking? Oh, you see, Chancellor, this is part of my evilest scheme yet. Allow me to demonstrate. Here is a slice I prepared earlier with a little scoop of vanilla ice cream. I'm going to go down to the orphanage and serve them this very same dish. Why don't you try some?
Mm. Yes, it's good, isn't it? Mm, the berries are just perfectly ripe, and the crust is so flaky, so buttery and crumbly. Just flaky enough. Maybe even a little too flaky, wouldn't you say, my friend? <laughs> Makes you feel like trying some of that ice cream, doesn't it? Well, go for it. Have a little forkful to tame the dryness of your throat. No ice cream for you. <laughs> Mmm, just imagine doing that to all those poor little orphans. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so evil. <laughs> and that is just the beginning. They will soon find out that today will be their last day as orphans. For I have arranged for them to be adopted by loving families. <laughs> oh, just imagine, Chancellor, no more wild and carefree days as orphans, free to stay up late and go where they please. Now I have condemned them to a life of family pictures and board games and eating vegetables. <laughs> oh, and that is not all. That is not all. I will ruin their childhoods forevermore, for I have decided our kingdom shall adopt <gasps> compulsory education. <laughs> <laughs> Do the evil laugh with me, Chancellor. Do the evil. <laughs> well, I'd better get a move on. Those orphans won't ruin their own day, after all. Oh, hey. How do you feel about changing your title from Chancellor to Vizier? It just sounds more evil to me. You like it? Hm. Vizier it is, then. Hm. Just between you and me. I'm doing a good job at this evil thing. I'm just kind of winging it. I'm doing good. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I mean, of course I'm doing good. Question me again and I'll turn you into a clam or something. You're dismissed, my evil vizier. <laughs> hmm. I really enjoy reading these scripts. If you like listening to them, I hope you'll like and subscribe. And if there's something you'd like to hear more of, please leave a comment and let me know. Thanks, and take care until next time.